Hello guys, Sarfancy here and welcome in this tutorial where I will show you how to use Mixamo animations that are not set to stay in place. For example, if you use Mixamo animations like this, you can see that it's always blinking back when the animation ends. And I can show you how to use it in Unreal Engine even when you cannot set it to in place. Let me quickly demonstrate it by right with Unreal. If you take this same animation and just put it in the game, simulate it, you can see that once the animations end, it will switch back on the start of it. And now, if you do it with your character, it of course kinda break whole game, but I can show you how to do it all. We will use something called enable root motion, so right now I will enable it and show it to you how it looks like, just in the game. So now if I play the game and start the animation, you can see that the camera is following it and once it ends, the character is still on the place and you can use him for whatever you want. You can use it with a lot of different attacks etc etc. But this method doesn't work with regular Mixamo skeleton. That's simply because skeletons from Mixamo don't have a root bone. If you, but if you look at skeletons that I'm using, they actually have added root bones and they have changed a lot of names etc. And for that I'm actually using a new add-on, it's not necessarily new, add-on for Blender. And I will show you where you can download it for free, of course, and how to use it with animations that you download from Mixamo. So let's get to it. All right, let's start in Mixamo. Mixamo, as you probably already know, is a site where you can download animations and rig your character characters. You can use whatever character you want. I will use just this driver to demonstrate it. And let's click here on animations. As example of animation that is not happening in place, that means it doesn't have root motion. You can see I have chosen this, show what reaction with spin. All right, looks cool. And let's download it. For the first time, you need to make sure that you download it with skin, in, uh, which means that the file FBX will be a bit bigger. But uh, if you will be downloading the next ones, you don't need to worry about that. You can download it without skin. And now let's get something that we can loop that is happening actually in place. And let's usually do walking or running. That's where you would use it most of the time. For example, this. All right, that's not the one. Oh, now you can see it. You can enable it in place. So you can see that it can be looping without any additional setting. It just looks like it's one long animation. Let's download this one as well and make sure that this time it's without skin so you don't uh, so you can save the space. Now when you have your animations, let's get to download this add-on for Mixamo. It's simply on GitHub, you click here, code and download as a zip file that will let it all download. Uh, da -da -da. You don't probably need to read all that. If you want to familiarize yourself with it a bit more, feel free to read it, of course. And let's get to Blender. In a Blender, you can have just empty project. Click on Files. No, actually click on Edit, Preferences. And here should be Add-ons. In Add-ons, just write the name of it, which should be Mixamo Converter. And you can see that I have it already here. But if you don't have it here, you have uh, don't have it installed, which you probably don't. Click here on Install and file that uh, find that zip file and simply put it here. It should be somewhere here. This one, it should be. That's how it will be named. All right, but I already have it, and you can see that it's uh, right here. If you can see it, you probably have this one hidden. You need to click on this arrow and open it. Click on Mixamo and open it. Da -da -da. So that's how it should look like from the start. Actually, this will be empty as well, but you get the idea. So what I want to actually change is uh, disable transfer rotation and disable apply rotation right here. I found out that it actually works much better without it. And usually what you can do is to import the character here and convert single animations. But I actually found it a bit more buggy than if you would just use bench converter. So let's hide advanced option and use this. You can uh, you need to set input to one fa uh, one folder and output to other folder. So what you can do is to go to some folder on your computer, create a new folder. You might actually two of them, one and two. Just for the sake of it, and go into one and insert here your files. You can see that one is much bigger because it has a skin, it has a mesh. Now you can simply select it there. Let's go here, zero one, select uh, the whole folder in input and an output. Let's just use zero two. Now you need to click on patch convert and it will all convert it and it will turn blue and then you just need to let it go. There will be no progression bar or anything. 
but once it will end, it will turn gray again. All right, now it should be all converted. So let's open 02. You can see that we have here two new animations, which are actually much smaller. And let's open Unreal Engine. I'm using just the third person template. So let's put it on the side and let's import it. First one needs to be the one with mesh. You can, you can add here as many animations as you want, of course. And make sure that you import skeletal mesh, import mesh, and also import animations. And one more thing, if you click on this animation arrow, you need to... Oh, it will be actually here. Yep. Here you need to use T0 as ref pose. And import all. Make sure that skeleton is set to none. Now you can see that it is imported, and we have here our animation. Right now it's called like weirdly according to that animation, you can rename it here of course. And disable import mesh, make sure that you import only animations but still have this skeleton. Import all and it just added that animation. Brilliant. Alright, so now what I will do is to create here new animation blueprint. So let's go right click animation, animation blueprint. And make sure that you select this new skeleton and of course we name it but this animation blueprint will be just called test underscore anim bp so let's open this third person character to viewport and we will change this mesh and let's set it to our showed with reaction all right and what we will do is to use animation blueprint and we will set it to our test anim bp Right, compile. Great. If you look at this walking animation, it's already looped, everything is fine in assets detail. But if you look at this show reaction, show it, I don't know how to read it. <laughs> you can see that an, on the end of the animation, he always flipped back uh, where he was where he started. So what we will do with that is in here in assets detail, scroll down, and we have here enable root motion. So let's enable it. And it will look really weirdly, as you can see. But that we will set up in animation blueprint. Right now, the important is that it is actually on place, on one place. So close it all. Let's go to test anim BP. Uh, quickly create here, I don't know, new state. Connect it, compile. And put here a new state just uh, to test it. We will use walking. So on default he will be just walking casually like that. It would look really weird with current uh, movement we have set up, but it doesn't really matter. Let's create a new state, state 01. You should name it, I'm not doing it because I don't want to waste the time with that. And let's uh, connect it back and forward. And first of all, let's head back to our third person character and just uh, create here a new variable, call it anim on. And we will set it up after some key, after some key. So let's set, let's write here keyboard and Q, for example. After Q, I will add flip flop and turn it on and off. Let's just quickly to demonstrate it. So let's go in test animbp in event graph and cast to third person character. Letter value and as third person character, we want our variable which was called anim uh, get anim on, turn it into variable. Uh, da -da -da. Let's call it anim bp on. I'm just making these names on the spot, like, <laughs> don't want too much from it on me. I should name it like uh, press the like button because that's what you are doing already, right? And let's go to state one and connect here that shout reaction with spin shout. I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> New state and with these arrows, let's make sure that we put here this anim BP on. Get it and set it to equal boolean if it will be true. Connect it to result here. Copy it. Go back here. If it not, if it won't be true, connect it back here. All right. So now what will happen? is nothing as you can see he's just walking weirdly it looks really weird but if i press the q he will play that animation and you can see that he will still switch back because there's one more thing we need to set up so we will click on that anim bp again click on that animation and let's clear. first of all disable looping animation that's what 
you can set it to whatever you want. I think that without looping, this kind of animation looks much better. Let's go into Anim Preview Editor and right here in hopefully you can yeah you can see it root motion mode. Let's set it to root motion from everything. And right here, let's click on apply. And now if you click Q, nothing is happening. But if I press it, you can see that the camera is moving with it, and we don't have any back switch movement. But if I press Q again, you can see that it switched back to that first animation movement. That's basic logic. All right, that's pretty clear, I believe so. I found this incredibly helpful if you are working with animations from Mixamo, so I hope that you will find it as well as helpful as I do. And if you already pressed the like button, then that's everything for this tutorial. I hope that, as I said, it is helpful for you. If you want to talk to other game developers or just show what you made, we have a Discord channel, link in the description. And that's about it. Like, subscribe, all this funny stuff. I said like three times in this video. That's, that's a lot. <laughs> so, Sir Fancy, out.